welcome back to my channel this is virtuous budgets so a little bit about myself this is your first time on my channel if you like all things adulting cash envelope stuffing budgeting please like my videos comment subscribe i really appreciate it so we're gonna do my paycheck budget with me okay so it's gonna be pretty low compared to how i usually do it i was not really working like that and I got a lot of like adjustments and a lot of stuff going on. So y'all will see about that. Also, I got two new envelopes. But anyway, let's get into it. Okay, so income amount will be about 500. Okay, so 500 for income. Okay, bills. I just have one bill and that's my car insurance for this paycheck. And that's going to be due on the 27th. And actually it rolls up about $5. Not that bad or anything. But it rolls up. So now it is $205.75. Because when I looked at it, that's how much it was when I checked my bank account. So let's go and see how much we got left to work with. So 500 minus $205.75. And 75 cent remaining balance will be 294 dollars and 25 cent. Two nine four point two five. Okay, cash envelopes. Beauty will be getting 15 like always. So let's get in 15 for two weeks. Eating out will be getting 25 dollars actually. And I did raise that down. Just because I feel like I've been eating out too much. Also, if y'all know from before, I used to have card for eating out as well. But I'm just not doing that. If y'all check my weekly check-in, y'all can see. Like, I got confused with a lot of stuff. Like, I think using my card and cash was just too much for me. And it's just kind of confusing. And like I say, I think when I use my card, I think I got more than what I really got. So, we're just going to make it down to 25. And we'll see how we go. I want to, you know, just really eat out less and also cook more. Because also when you cook, you got leftovers and stuff, you know? So, yeah, hopefully I can do that. Okay, groceries. We'll always get 50, at least for now, that's working for me. Household will get 20. And I'm really trying to make sure I keep household at 20. Because sometimes I try to do 10 or 15. But truly, it's not enough. I'd rather have more than enough than not enough. And 20 is good to stock up for, like, a lot of stuff. So, I'll just keep that at 20. Miscellaneous will be getting 10. Okay, and then spending. I raised this up. Usually I only do 20, but I'm doing 30. And the reason why, if y'all check my weekly check in, y'all can see that I spent a lot of money on some clothes, but I feel like I lower it, you know, but truthfully, I do need more. So I may as well just get more. So we're going to do that. We're going to try it out. And I do need to treat myself. So, you know, making it $30 will be really good. And as y'all know, for gas, I have it on my card, and it always gets 23. Okay, so 23 for gas. Okay, so let's add all this up. So let's see, 15 plus 25 plus 50 plus 20 plus 10 plus 30 plus 23 that total will give me 173 dollars for two weeks and that is low but with my paycheck i really just couldn't you know that's just how it is There's nothing really i can do about it if we do 294.25 and we're subtracting this from this to see how much we have left for sinking funds minus 173 that leaves me with $121.25 left. So, okay, so now sinking funds, which I'm really excited about. The first one, Christmas. As you all know, I am doing the savings tracker thing to where I can save up $300 for Christmas. So, the one that I'm crossing off this time is $25. So, we're just going to put 25 for this paycheck okay and it's a new one that i have this is family so this is all my family expenses they want me to go get something or if my siblings want you know chips or candy just anything family related this is their own sinking fund and i'm really happy i have this for them 
So I can just treat them from time to time and just anything they want. They can have their own sinking funds. That's good for them. Gifts is getting 15. As y'all know, my brother's birthday is next month. So I do want to stock that up. Okay, and then roll over. This is also a new envelope. I'm giving this $10. So technically, roll over should be like, you know, if you have money left over, but my weekly check-in, like stuff just wasn't added up. The numbers weren't adding up. I found like $3 in my purse. I don't know where that came from. Stuff was just really confusing. I'm not gonna lie. So that's also why I stopped using my card for eating out. Cause I think it's just confusing me. I don't know what to put in the bank, what to not to put in the bank. And it's just too much. So yeah, roll up will get 10. So this envelope will be for anything that I, you know, overspend. I can just use from here or if I need change or anything I can get it from rollover and do it that way okay and then spend it we'll get ten dollars okay so let's add up all of our sinking funds and I'm really happy I got these two like I think these two will really help me out and I think I should have been had these I don't know why I'm just not making them but you know it's good to try new stuff out so 25 plus 30 plus 15 plus 10 plus 10 equals 20 will give me $90 for sinking funds. So I'm not stuffing everything like how I usually do. I'm just stuffing what I can. So if we subtract $121.25 minus 90, will give me $31.25 left. And that's it. So, yeah, I'm really happy with this paycheck. I'm happy to start my new sinking funds and to kind of build up my Christmas savings trackers. Thank you guys so much for watching my video. Please like, comment, and subscribe.